We're with Carl Warner, who has just received his AFL call-up. Carl, talk us through your feelings. Uh, geez, a lot of emotions right now, really. I think just absolutely stoked and happy. Um, a lot sort of has gone in throughout my whole life, really, to get to this point, and just absolutely stoked to get my opportunity. You'll make your debut as the tactical sub. How do you reckon you'll go as you wait to hopefully come into the game? Oh, I'd probably be a little bit of nervous energy as well, sort of sitting and waiting around, but I think that's the beauty of it as well, is that it's sort of a bit unexpected that you could come on whenever. So I think either or, I'm just going to be, I'll be ready either way. Um, I put a lot, of work, a lot of work in this year to get to this point. So yeah, either way, I'm just really happy. You arrived um, as a rookie draft selection in 2021. It's been a bit of a journey from there to where we're sitting here right now. Yeah, 100%. It was obviously a very funny and uh, different introduction into the footy club. Um, <laughs> something that I sort of look back on now and a long time ago, but uh, to go through all that and to get where I am today, you know, I wouldn't change a thing really because it just makes everything so much more worth it. Um, and a lot of people, you know, to thank to get myself to this point, uh, like the Carters, Nicola, Cora and Craig who looked after me last year when I got out of quarantine. Um, and yeah, just lots, lots of moments that have, have gone into it. And this is the room just a bit earlier this morning that the JL told the playing group, um, Jono Youngy, alongside you, who I know you're close with. Um, nice to share that little moment with them as well. Yeah, 100%. Probably two of my closest mates at the club, uh, Youngy being my housemate as well. So, yeah, it was just a really special moment to share with them because um, we've sort of, I've sort of rode the bumps with Youngy a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, just unreal moment to share with those two. Just going to bring around deck chairs a little, chop the deck chairs in the midfield a little bit. Um, so mids are clear on that, and that opens up the spot in the sub for a debut time. Carl. Yeah. Sharing a place with Youngy, um, I'm sure footy conversations are happening all the time between you two. Um, has there been much, yeah, spoken about about you know your hopeful debut to the, at the top level? Um, talk us through some of those conversations you've had with Youngy. Hundred percent. Well, I think it was just more just him sort of guiding me and helping me in the right direction. Um, you know, he's a very experienced and, and talented player, so he's probably one of the best to learn off, especially uh, being a half back. So it's just more having conversations about you know getting myself ready, routines for when my time does come, um, just to be ready because yeah, it all happens pretty quickly. Uh, you've it's come off the back of a lot of work, uh, hard work from you. You've had a positional switch um, to half back more permanently this year. Um, talk us through how you've been enjoying working with the other defenders at Peel. Yeah, it's been really good. I think we've got a really experienced, um, an experienced backline and a great one to work off. And I think we're probably close to the best back six in the comp in Freo. Um, and we've got a couple of very good experienced campaigners at Peel as well. So it's just been, I think, a great enjoyment really just being able to learn off all the other players um Boydie and Tendai as well being two great coaches who have really guided me and helped me in the right direction so yeah it's been really good peel has been a great place to play footy this year in the top four um some nice wins on the board playing under jeff valentine and with the peel boys um talk us through your season so far yeah well, i think it's just on the back of a lot of hard work that we have done uh in the pre-season i think the peel boys as well a lot of them came and trained with us um in the preseason, I think just building that continuity together has been really important. I think uh, Joff has been unreal leading us this year. Uh, just sort of, just making sure that we keep connect, keep that connection piece um, as a really high value of ours, which I think we've done. And yeah, personally, I've been pretty pleased with how the season's been going. And I think uh, as a back six at Peel, we've really been trying to work towards trying to push that top four and even further. So yeah, it's been really good so far and hopefully we can keep um, keep going in that direction. You were rewarded last month with a contract extension through to 2025. How does it feel to have that uh, security of your immediate future um, locked in and uh, knowing you'll call this place home for at least a few more years? Oh, it, it's, it's a great feeling. I think it's um, for the club to have the faith in me, knowing that I hadn't played a game at that point and I did trust all the hard work and uh, yeah, all the things I was putting in behind the scenes. Um, yeah, I think it's just a really great value for me and my family as well just to know that I can put in another work for another two years. Um, and yeah, just really happy that they showed that faith in me. And we've had a big week of signings, Jai Amos, uh, Matty Johnson, Josh Tracy, all signing um, extensions during the week, a great group, um, all signing and staying together for the, at least the next few years as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good young crew as well, especially 
Um, a lot of the jive, like for most of them in my draft as well. Um, JT being my age as well, I think it's just a really good young culture that we got at the moment at the club, and we have had some great leaders to learn off. And yeah, we're really trending in the right direction. And I'm told you have some family in Sweden watching on on Sunday. Um, talk us through who won't be there, who will be at Optus um, on game day. Yeah, so unfortunately, my mum and my middle sister Emma, um, they are in Sweden at the moment. Mum's back home, and Emma's gone travelling for a bit. So. We're looking to see if we can get them over, but probably a bit too difficult. Uh, but coming over will be my father, uh, my sister Annika, my cousin Chloe, um, auntie and my uncle. Are you confident they'll be able to set it all up and make sure they're watching on from Sweden? Yeah, I think they're already trying to do all the planning and all that because I've been watching some of my Peel games as well. So. Well, hopefully they can watch my, my game as well. Lovely. And just lastly, you've had a couple of years now of watching um, the boys run out, packed off to stadium, how loud it is out there. If you can project forward, um, how do you think that will feel for you personally being one of those boys running out there? Yeah, I think coming to the club for me, it was just a massive surprise how loyal and dedicated the supporters are. Um, come from Victoria, you sort of get a lot of caught up, you get caught up in the Victorian teams. And I'll tell you what, I think it's probably one of the loudest crowds I've heard, especially being in that semi final last year. So. Uh, yeah, I think the club's just training in the right direction, a great supporter group, and hopefully we can get the four points on Sunday and, yeah, really lift them. Well done. Thanks, Carl. Cheers. Thank you. Leave them with nothing.